Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Avia. If you're new, hello. If you're old, hello. And this is my sister, Leantra. And today we'll be reacting to something I think you guys will enjoy. It is Megan Thee Stallion's new song called Hiss. This is the song that she released after Cobra. And y'all stay tuned because apparently Nicki Minaj is dropping something. <laughs> hint, hint. They said this song targets like a lot of people. Um, on Twitter, I saw that Nicki Minaj is dropping a diss track. But she said it's not a diss track. But it's At three. So we will be tuning in. Like we're tuning into this one today. So I hope it's good, you know. Hope we catch some bars. Yeah, I can't wait. All right. So without further ado. I just want to kick this shit off by saying, fuck y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on a motherfucking thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all bitch ass niggas get 24 hours of attention. I'm going to get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. Okay. She came out the gate swinging. Like Ali. Um, it's giving like Tupac hit him up. At the beginning of his song that was targeting like a bunch of people in the industry, which I'm assuming this is what Megan Thee Stallion is doing with this song. He talks like about them at the beginning before he actually starts oh, rapping. Yeah. So <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I just want to kick this shit off by saying, fuck y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on a motherfucking thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all bitch ass niggas get 24 hours of attention. I'm going to get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. Hitting if the beat live. I feel like Mariah Carey. Got these niggas so obsessed. My pussy so famous might get managed by Chris Jenner next. He can't move, I can't let it go. He hook knows for Not Chris Jenner. <laughs> Chris probably loves that part of the song. Yeah, like, oh my god, I'm in a song. And the Mariah Carey line, I got that yeah. too because Mariah I'm came out so with a song obsessed. called Obsessed with that Eminem view that she had. But yeah. I can't believe that. Sorry. We're probably going to be pausing this a lot. I'm sorry. But That's the point. I You're like catching like bars. I feel like Mariah Carey. Got these niggas so obsessed. My pussy so famous might get managed by Chris Jenner next. He can't move on, can't let it go. He hook nose full of that Tina Snow. And since niggas need making help to make money, bitch, come be my hoe. All of you bitches is we gonna bribe. We're talking shit for a no one can find you. I can never be judged by a bitch that was dancing. Making all Kelly go viral. Hey, I'm sexy as fucking, I'm freaky. Who was this? Who would make it like Kelly go viral? <laughs> Not Robert Kelly. Not Robert. Who who was dancing to Robert? Who making R. Kelly go viral? Let us know. Who is it, who is making R. Kelly go viral? That Put man. In the comments. Please. Whoever I want any meaning Why the fuck would I stay with a nigga that's weak and the sheets and don't know how to please me? Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies Say he fuck Megan and now he the topic These niggas thinking they lower the value All this free promo I'm turning to profit Hey, when a nigga be kissing the teller Say he'll play up here in his feelings Bet I won't give up the pussy again Shit, shit, I add it to his friend These hoes don't be mad at Megan These hoes mad at Megan's law I don't really know what the problem is But I guarantee y'all don't want me to start Bitch, you a pussy <laughs> That line had Nicki Minaj so, 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 so So this bad. is the part these don't be mad at Megan. These mad at Megan's. What did she say? Megan's law. Megan's law. Megan's law. Megan's law. Quickly, look it up. Look Megan's up what law. Megan's law is. It's just, it's such a coincidence that her name Megan's is Megan. law, that her name is Megan. So mm. it's like perfect, honestly. Don't be mad at Megan. These I get, I get Megan's why law. Nikki would be mad. I get oh, it. Oh, yeah. But like, Oh yeah. Again, shit, shit. I to his These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all want me to start. Bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bitch, your weak ass wanna dress me. Bitches swear they cheat, but the G must stand for goofy. When the fuck did all the gangs and niggas turn to groupies? Check me. Every chance you get, bitch, your weak ass wanna dress me. Bitches swear they cheat, but the G must stand for goofy. When the fuck did all the gangs and niggas turn to groupies? look so dumb every time y'all celebrate fake news ha! using my name for likes and views i don't give a fuck what y'all make trend bitch i still win Nigga, ain't you here? I ain't scared of dick. Any man go against me, I handle shit. I'm the Teflon Don in the courtroom. Never throwing that dirt on shit stick. I'm Teflon Don. Okay. Who is that? I've heard that name before. I watch a lot of mafia movies. 
I love The Godfather. I love Scarface. I love American Gangster. Teflon Don is John Gotti, if I'm not mistaken. Who? John Gotti is like the one of the like mafia gods of the mob. He has had so many cases like against him and he beats like all of them. So mm -hmm. they started calling him the Teflon Don. So when she's saying I'm the Teflon Don in the courtroom, she's what did she say? Don't none of it like stick? That's what she's saying. She's beating like the case. So which I'm assuming is about the Tory Lane's case. Bar. Nigga, ain't you here? I ain't scared to dick. Any man go against me, I handle shit. I'm the chef on down in the courtroom. Never throwing that dirt on shit stick. I don't these little rap niggas so fraud. San X be they hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBS. We be walking around with the same scars. It could be they're doing Xanax, but from that bar, what I took is that that's all they can talk about. Um, like drugs and stuff like that? Yeah. These rap N words are so fraud. Be they hardest Xanax bars. be their hardest bar. Meaning they one trick ponies. Yep. In the courtroom, they be wrong. throwing that dirt yeah. on shit stick. I don't these little rap niggas so fraud. Xanax be they hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBL and be walking around with the same scars. Real curvy, no edging. Niggas fight to get in my section. Don't speak on my BBL. And is a man. <laughs> Who got a BBL? Who? Who got a BBL? Who is that? In the courtroom, yeah. they be throwing that dirt yeah. on shit stick. I don't these little rap niggas so fraud. Xanax be they hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBL and be walking around with the same scars. Real curvy, no edging. Niggas fight to get in my section. Don't speak on my bike count if the dick ain't worth coming back for seconds. Cosplay, gangsters, fake ass accents. Posted in another nigga hood like a bad bitch. I'm a big dog bitch, can't little sense me. Hold I'm it, sorry. <laughs> Who's a cosplay? Like a, bad... <laughs> a cosplay gangster in a fake accent. Cosplay gangsters, fake accent. Because he switches accents. He does. It probably is about him because he has something against... Uh, let me find out the BBL bars about Drake. Ooh. Because he would be the one. He don't have a BBL, did he? Mr. Drake. Aubrey. <laughs> yeah, I said it. No, but I'm glad she said cosplay gangsters. And for me, this bar ain't even for men in the industry. This could be for anybody. Because there's people that you know that is repping gang affiliation and like flags and stuff and they ain't no gangster oh yeah they ain't no gangster at all i could name like it's 10 just silly. people off my head that i know personally that do that Cause why would you want to be a gangster that's the wave now i guess that you gotta be like, why just like that basketball player Oh yeah. They tryna diss me. Make one move, got him in a tizzy. Killing shit, that's why they tryna rip me. Still going hard with the odds against me. These niggas don't have fancy bots. These bitches don't have fancy shots, and they still tuned in if they fans or not. Allegations from the opposition. Fish niggas just eating it up. These blogs get paid a lot. Y'all talk shit and be broke as fuck. Bottom line is I'm still rich. You making bad and I'm still good. Bringing up who might have fucked. And the bottom line is they still. Hood. I just wanna fuck my nigga in peace, but all my old niggas still love me. Niggas ain't hit this pussy in years. Damn, I knew my shit was heat. None of you niggas was wife material. None of you niggas was worth all the drama. None you niggas was hitting it wrong and mad. I'm not even cheating. I can't let none of you raggedy bitches think that y'all my equal. Ever since I claim the summer, all you bitches want a season. That's the whole I shit don't like me, bitch. She can't give you a reason. You know motherfucking will. These bitches want to sound like Tina. Don't you ever grab a mic and think that me and you competing. Hey, hmm. that bitch in the rocks ain't pimping. Hoes told you niggas are trending. Why every time one of y'all see his hoes do it? Hey, I can mention. I don't give a fuck who think what. You niggas is tight for nothing. On the internet typing this shit to me. Write him a letter or something. <laughs> A conjugal visit? J Pay? Okay. Megan? That song was good. Yes. It was a little fast. You gotta catch stuff. But she said a word. Um, the industry is gonna be mad at you. But you know what? I saw an interview that she had. She had called the Breakfast Club, and she said um, a hit dog's gonna holler. Oh yeah. yeah. So like, it, she could be using one bar for like five different people, and they're gonna get offended. Yeah, they're gonna be mad at you. But at the same time, I feel like the stuff that she's coming out with is not unwarranted. 
Like, I feel like all of this is happening because someone did something to her. Um, I'm not saying she's completely innocent and everything because we don't know everything. Yeah. But the stuff that I've heard, they have did stuff first. Yeah. While she was going through all that stuff, which is so sad, like, to me. It really just showed whose side people were on and how, like, yeah. nasty they felt towards her because yeah. when that happened, I felt like nobody had her back. And this song, to me, also displays the guts that this woman has. Because I feel like a lot of people are weak to the point where they don't want to go against anybody like Drake. They don't want to go against anybody like Nicki Minaj. If these other people that she's talking about, because she did not name drop. So, like you said, if a hit dog gonna holler, that means it must pertain to you. I wonder if anybody's gonna retaliate. If they're angry enough. Um, <laughs> apparently, Nicki Minaj has been retaliating. But not through song, by um, IG Live and Twitter. <laughs> they say she's like, twi like Twitter finger happy right now. Because I guess it hit a nerve. I've seen some of it. and it's That's our reaction. And stay tuned for Nicki's diss track. Um, bye.